Hello everyone, welcome back to the room two. The end of, oh sorry, the room three even. Uh, at the end of the last session, we were working on this giant model of a table and we put this piece of building on top of this piece of building and then we rose up, I think from the inside of this building, the whole table rose up to the top of here to where we are now. So what's next? We did this and this. We have a clock, but there's no clock in here, is there? That was downstairs somewhere else. So in lieu of that, we've got this little tiny building here. Little teeny tiny building. But I can't do anything with that, it seems. There's also this thing. But I can't move this for trying. That doesn't do anything. Don't see anything new hanging out here. Let's go to see that... Um, Helmet over there. That's new and shiny, isn't it? Got to be something going on here. I can't rotate this. I think it wants to be screwed because it's a wing nut, but it's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Okay. Um, Talisman and Co. 228. There you go, there's a start. We get a brass rivet. And there's a pattern on here. Like, infinity, five squares, triple rainbow. Okay, where can a brass nut go? Can I open this drawer? I can, that's just available to me. The rocks of this island have always had a taste for blood. This tenacious aquanaut thought his science would be proof against them. I hope his curiosity into my affairs is now satisfied. The craftsman. An antler. Okay. On the other side, nothing. Where on earth would we put an antler? I don't know. Do we have somewhere that a brass pin looks like it fits? Probably not here, right? This doesn't need pins. That we already did. I don't see anything on this church that screams, put a pin in me here. Oh, can I put the clock on the face there? I can. Oh. And we use our new special lens to delve inside the clock. I'm really worried at some point we're going to like accidentally sequence break it, but I assume it's all been accounted for in that regard. I have to turn your head all the way around because you're an owl. A model boat. All right, I know where that's going. I'm assuming the rest of this is not pertinent to us. So, the model boat is going to go on the little dockyard thing here. Good. And then we have another tiny thing to look through with our magic lens. This time is a rat. So we've seen a snake, an owl, a rat. Is the last one a cricket? Is that what I'm expecting to see? A key. Love a good key. There was a keyhole on the diver's bell, wasn't there? Wasn't there? Or am I making that up? I might be making that up. Because this is not a key. Alright, maybe it was on the church somewhere.
I know I've seen a key somewhere. It wasn't on top of here now, was it? Oh, there's a tiny hole right there. In we go. Oh. So now we have a smaller version of the bigger version of our thing. I have to go. Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? Inception in here. You get another leg. We go in again. And then we're going to give you a hand, I assume. And out we go. And out we go. And out we go. And out we go. Right. We still have a brass pin and an antler. Is there one of these that looks like it needs manipulating manually? Looks like a egg wants to go in it or something. Right, what else do we know about here? There's still something in... Ugh. Something in the diver's bell is going to happen. This all seems... Not to be buttons I can push yet. We did the boathouse. We haven't done whatever this is yet. Go back to that diver's belt. Do I know something about you now? Is that going in there? It looks like it's out of order with the rest of them, doesn't it? That bit right there. No idea what this antler is for. Unless I'm supposed to manipulate these rings, but I don't think I am. If I am supposed to, it's very small and finicky. All right, what's next? What am I missing? What's different here? Where am I putting a brass pin as well? We did that. That's not something. I don't see it. Whatever it is. Not very much around the edge of the table. Nothing in the compass rows. I don't see other examples of the brass pin anywhere. It does not help. Nothing with that. Nothing with this. All right, clue me. The rivet looks like it belongs somewhere on the diving helmet. It does belong on the diving helmet. Not right there. Is it? Because that's what we took something from. Where does it go? There? Some sort of handle should go there. 
This thing is contained by rivets. Is it that one there? It is that one there. Swing that open. A metal acorn. Right, that's going to go in that top of that tower. Clearly. A wooden model piece. Okay, well, for a start. Wooden model piece. There. All right. We will hop in. Excuse you. Thank you. In we go. There's the cricket we expected to find. A metal pointer for a clock face or something else. All right, I think the acorn's going in here. This looks acorn shaped. No? All right then, metal pointer. Um, something here wanted a handle, so can't turn this yet. I can't push that in. Not like I'm using the pointer as like a grabbing device on that. This wants a handle and it's not going to be this. With the antlers or that with the curved piece. Metal handle. It's not going to be the clock face again with a different metal handle, I assume. Like this isn't going to interact with that. Can't click the top of the tower there. There's lots going on in this room. I don't know where half of it is anymore. Metal pointer, antler. None of these candelabras want an extra thing made out of an antler, do they? That would be a reach. Nothing else in this room. That still looks suspicious to me, but it won't let me click on it. There must be an instrument somewhere that's missing a pointer. An instrument. It's not the clock face. It's not like a weather vane or something. I don't know what instrument that would be. Unless it's inside one of the rooms, but that doesn't seem like it would play out. An instrument. Oh. You were hiding. Okay, so it's... Curvy blue. Five dots. Triple rainbow. A copper tap. I know where that goes. Interesting. Take off the wing nut.
Thanks for that jump scare game. I appreciate that. A crystal vial. Alright, that's got to be going in the top of the tower, right? In the lighthouse. No? How is that not going in here? Right, is there anything else we haven't manipulated on this that we think we should be able to manipulate? Because it's getting less and less likely that there's stuff left to manipulate. Doesn't look like it. So where could a crystal vial go? I still think that looks suspicious. A metal acorn. Like, I really feel like it would just sit in here. And I don't have to combine two things together or something. And the skull's not going to have something else about it that needs to be manipulated. There's nothing on the back of that door. Take a closer look at the bronze acorn I found. Uh, I've seen that key shape before. Where was that key shape? Was it on here? No. Where was that key? Is it this one? No. I've seen that shape before somewhere. Oh my god. Where did I see it? Not that. Oh my god, I've seen that key shape before. Giant island. Could have anywhere for a key to be. Where did I see that keyhole? Where is it? Not here. This doesn't now fit in there. I've seen this five piece lock somewhere. Oh my god, where is it? I know the game will just tell me if I click it to tell me. Or it will say, it looks like it's a key for something. There's a painting of a tree on the side of the box of the Standing Stones model. Could it be a clue? Painting of a tree on the Standing Stones model. Painting of a tree on the Standing Stones model. Could it be a clue? That's where I saw it. I wasn't expecting to come back into one of these. Oh. That's for you. Jeez. That's clearly going in there. Not creepy at all. A glowing gemstone. Glowing gemstone goes in the lighthouse. There you go.
Way to screw you in. Oh no, an illuminated lamp. And then the whole thing packs itself away, huh? Up we go. Round and round. Where we stop, nobody knows. This tiny lantern's not going to be enough to power this whole lighthouse, though, surely. Oh my god, what is that? Okay. Where do we begin? Well, can I rotate this? I can. This has one pin. Except this is going to have a key or a model or something that I need to follow. No. That looks like it unscrews from here. We've got bands, we've got crosses, we've got lines, we've got nothing. We've got bands, we've got lines. But I don't know what any of them mean. And I can only... Oh no, I can... I pair these up? There's a window there. There you go. And we get another triangle piece. They're going to send us back to the main room where we use the triangle piece. Chapter complete. Scaling the lighthouse was quite the feat. Though its beam may illuminate troubles to come, they remain yours to shoulder. Right, are we back at that table? Are we somewhere else? Tell me, game. Tell me your secrets. Uh, we're back here, but if we come through there... And through here... Can I now put this down on here again? And now, that one dances too. Um, right, that is fixed, I assume. Nope, it's not. Clearly this wants to be an arch of some kind. But I think when I solve this, I'm going to get teleported somewhere else. So I think I'm going to cut that there today, for now. Join me next time. We'll try and solve that and get teleported to whatever arc we're on next in this strange adventure. For now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, you can put this down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.